Actually, I I have seen uh, your videos. I did not know that you are Vishal Sen. You gave uh, send me the message in the name of Vishal Sen, but I did not know. But I know about you. You are in the uh, police department and posted in Delhi, I think. No, no, sir. I am posted in Madhya Pradesh, district Ratlam. Oh, Madhya Pradesh. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have seen many of your videos. I know, I know about you that you are very enthusiastic about this language. So I am <laughs> a bit surprised actually. I did not know that it was you, that Vishal Sen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have also, I have seen your so many videos, sir, and I have been following you, uh, you can say, since last uh, six months. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I am also following your videos, and I have seen some of the videos very interesting, and you are taking pain. Uh, then after doing your job, you get a less time to, uh, effort, to give effort in this field, but still you are doing great. That's very much praiseworthy. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thanks for compliment, sir. And uh, one thing I know that uh, due to this connectivity issue, you take your car to a far away place and you take the session from there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So tell me uh, something about you. I know yes. much about you, but still. Yes, sir. Why not, sir? My name is Vishal Sen. I am from Madhya Pradesh, district Ratlam. And I have been working in police department since 2014. And simultaneously, I ran a YouTube channel for English conversation. That's all about me, sir. Yeah. And as you know that my name is Subhash Pal and I live in Guwahati. And I do service in a government office here. So I am also very much interested about this language and I also want to improve uh, particularly in speaking part. And that's why I yes, take classes with the tutors, sometimes with yes, finger tutors, sometimes with uh, English theory tutors. Yes, yes. So I would like to ask one thing, sir. You are in central government employee. So in which field do you work, sir? It's the uh, Indian Audit and Accounts Department. Okay, sir. That's great. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what do you do about uh, this? Uh, apart from taking these sessions for learning this language, sir. When I start my journey, English learning journey. So, in the initial day, I have done lots of things like uh, I used to read newspaper and. Uh, I writing and listen so many English podcasts and I usually watch English conversation video. But nowadays, sir, my full focus on English speaking, sorry, English listening skills and speaking skills. I am doing both things. A computer exam, so I know about grammar and something like that. But I know if you have a good command over grammar, in spite of you are not able to speak English. Because I haven't, I have never thought that I have to learn this language for according to speaking, because, uh, you know, uh, my mother tongue is Hindi and uh, in our department, in our ho hometown, my all the colleagues in my family member usually speak in Hindi. But sir, uh, you can say I have been learning this language since last, uh, you can say one year ago. Because I went to Tamil Nadu for uh, searching and absconding accused. So where oh. we face some where we face some problem and this was the biggest problem how to communicate because at that time I did not know how to speak English and how to speak Tamil. So I realized that sir, English is very important and you can say I have been learning this language since that day and now I am very passionate to learn this language and I am enjoying this journey of learning English. Yes, yes. Uh... The same thing happened with me also uh, so in the last month and uh, not last month, last in the month of May, I went to Chennai for uh, medical treatment. So there also I had to speak in English. So since I was in practice, I could manage it because most of the people are there when they speak with us, they speak mainly in English. Very few people speak in Hindi. So if we can speak, that helps us. So I have also this kind of experience in 
earlier uh, occasion when I went there, that is long ago, at the time I had difficulties in communicating with them. So this time it was not so. Yes, and so in your case, you are doing a job in a police department. So how challenging you think that your job is? Sir, as you know, police department the job is very challenging job. We usually face unexpected challenges. Like uh, suppose I am sitting in my police station and suddenly a person came, sir, I was brutally beaten by someone. And after two minutes, the same person come, sir, he, I was brutally beaten by he. So we are very confused that who is right and who is wrong because both person are present in the police station. So this is very difficult situation to identify who is the right and who is the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we, but we managed the situation and we went the you can say crime spot and we ask uh, so many people and our move you can say our informer we try to elaborate our informant problem. There are so many difficulties in our department. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, I know, and it's a twenty-four seven uh, job because anytime you may be called for your duty and you might have to go somewhere to. Yes, yes. Because sir, uh, in our uh, Ratlam district, there is no commissionary system is running, so that's why the twenty-four hours is we are compulsion to ready. But when you talk about sir. Uh, you can say like uh, Delhi and uh, in our state, like in the biggest city like Indore, Gwalior. So there are commissionary system is uh, running. So their duty timing is fixed, uh, eight hours. But in our Ratlam, there are so many districts in our MP, there is no commissionary system. So that's why we are facing some problem. And I think in future, after five and six years, we, we will get some relax after uh, commissionary system is started so okay okay then at the time you will have a fixed timing that you can uh, go yes, to sir. your job okay. yes yes but right now i can't tell you what is my fixed schedule because i usually go to morning shift and then suppose i'm talking about two days my shift so i went to nine to six and then i free sorry nine to five and i free five at evening five and then I will go to night patrolling 12 to morning 6. Oh, and tomorrow I will be free. Work. And tomorrow I will be free morning 6 to evening 6. So this is very, you can say, complicated job. I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> yes, and whatever we get to know about the police that they are very much uh, alert all the time because nowadays these crime rates are also rising. The crime rate is yes, very yeah. high. So such job is very much demanding. Every now and then they have to go. They uh, have to be on their toes. They yes, have yes. to be. They have to be at the back and call of their senior officers. So any moment <laughs> they may call, they have to call. <laughs> they have to go. Yeah, I know that. You are, but yes. you are doing great job. So because of you people, the police department, the people around you, they feel safe that you are doing their, your duty properly and that's why they feel they are in a safe zone. So that's great. Yes, sir. But uh, I realize that uh, the mentality of people and the opinion of about, about people because uh, uh, I would like to tell you one thing that uh, everyone needs a police, but I think nobody likes police. I realize that because most of the time we feel this type of situation like uh, we work a lot, but uh, we are not getting good response by the people. So we feel some depressed so why are you doing this job so most of the time okay. you feel... i got it but i think that uh, it has to be uh, something with the our film industry because you see in most of the movies uh, you will find uh, the movies are showing the police personnel in a negative way that also impacts yes, that uh, yes, creates sir. the they mindset are... in the general people they think that yes, all sir. the police are like that so this is one thing. Yes, yes, you are absolutely correct, sir. But in spite of I'm doing this job and I'm enjoying this job, and uh, sir, nowadays you can say when I return from my police station, so after taking conversational with my subscribers and other people, so I feel very relaxed. So that's why I usually take session so that I feel very comfortable and I, I feel very energetic. 
Yes, yeah, that's true. Because uh, I have also experienced this that after coming from office, uh, sometimes I feel very much stressed out. So I, uh, whenever there is a class, be it a YouTuber or with a tutor, so I feel uh, very relaxed after taking the class. So it, it really it helps when we talk with the people. Yes, sir. You can say now I'm very passionate to learn this language and this is my passion and I'm following this my passion because the, when I started my English journey, so I was thinking that how can I learn this language? But when I started my English learning journey, so I realized that there are lots of people who want to learn this language and uh, they help, they want to help others. So I'm enjoying the journey and I'm improving my learning day by day. And now I'm very comfortable. I can talk in front of anyone. And you know, in our police department, we usually deal with public, lots of people. So I can address thousands of people without any hesitation. <laughs> in okay, English, so if I, if I realize that uh, the, the person is uh, well educated and he's speaking very well English, so I try to connect with in front of anyone, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, I have seen also in your videos that you are connecting with so many people, and that uh, gives uh, how enthusiastic you are, how passionate you are to learn this language. That is a very good thing that you are doing because when you are pursuing uh, something and you are putting all efforts to achieve that goal, and that's how you are improving day by day. So definitely yes. you will go further and you will improve whatever you have improved till now over there. There is no doubt. Yes. And I was thinking that in future, uh, I want to take class for computer exam. If someone is trying to preparing for computer exam, so I was thinking that uh, I will upload so many videos about grammar. Like, sir, uh, when we talk about computer exam, so grammar is very important. And while speaking, mm. we usually make so many mistakes. Uh, like uh, we usually say, suppose I'm going to create an interview mm -hmm. and interviewer asks me, please introduce yourself. And I reply, myself is Vishal Sen. So I will not be selected, sir. Because yeah, yeah. so many people are Vishal. using this ex expression. We yes. can say, I am Vishal, my name is Vishal, <laughs> this is Vishal, but myself, myself is say. wrong. Yeah. Yes, yes. But so many people use these expressions, sir. Yeah, yeah. Many people. Yes, yes. So that's why I will upload this type of video so that people can learn. Even uh, I have seen that some of the tutors also sometimes say that myself is like that. <laughs> Yes, sir, because we can't use this expression because this is a reflexive pronoun and we mm -hmm. can't use reflexive pronoun as a subject. So that's why yes, this yes. is grammatically correct. Yeah, yeah. You know, one funny incident that happened. One of the person uh, was telling like that I cooked myself. So it's a very wrong sentence because I cook myself means I have cooked me. <laughs> <laughs> It should be, yes, I sir. have, uh, uh, I cook for myself, then it's okay. Yes, sir. Yes, Somebody sir. says that I cook myself means he or she cooked himself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we are making this type of grammatical mistakes, but in speaking, in spoken, we can manage. But when you talk about computer exams, so sir, uh, this is a wrong, wrong expression. There are so many expressions like uh, we usually make uh, me and my friend are going to market. Hmm. So this is also hmm. sir, right? because uh, we can't use me before a subject. Yeah. So be, me is objective case. I'm not teacher, sir. I'm not teaching you, but I am telling you that I, this is my future yeah, plan. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. It is good because even uh, in my case also, I have uh, sometimes uh, said like this, that me and uh, my family like that. Even I hmm. also make this mistake. So I know. And so uh, you will be doing a good thing that uh, you want to help others who are uh, who are going to take the competitive examination. You are preparing these things for them, is not it? Yes, sir. Yes, because in our Madhya Pradesh, sir, there is no vacancy after 2017 because I was preparing for my Madhya Pradesh sub inspector, but there is no vacancy, and uh, you can say the election is around the corner in 2023, mm -hmm. last December. Yeah. So that's why I'm 
I was preparing, so I know all the grammar rules and uh, all these things. But in spite of, I am not able to speak at that time. But now I am comfortable, sir. So that's why I am thinking that I will upload this type of video so that uh, the student can learn so many things. Yes, yes, you are most welcome. You should upload. So whatever you have in you, that should come out and that should be helpful for other. That is yes, yes, a good sir. thing to do. Because sir, I have never thought that I have to be a big YouTuber. Because when I started my YouTube channel, so the motto was started this channel. I can upload my video and after watching my video, I can identify my mistakes and then I can rectify my mistakes. But then after uploading my video, I am getting good response by the people. So I was thinking that I have to do more and more for people. Yes, yes. <laughs> should do. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you have learned, you should the knowledge that you have gathered if you can you should dis, uh, disseminate this the all the information that you have yes sir yes and you one is good thing for you sir i have seen in your video and you usually maintain your consistency because i have been following you since the last six months so you usually upload your video and you maintain your consistency sir so this is a good thing yeah actually i just uh after attending a session with the tutor, I, I upload it. And nowadays what happened that most of the tutors, they don't like uh, their uh, videos to be uploaded. So even though after attending a class with a tutor, I cannot upload. Say for the last three, four classes I have attended with tutors, but I cannot upload because uh, they are not comfortable with the these things of uploading their yes, videos. Sir. They don't uh, yes. give us permission to upload. And yes. what happened in my last two occasions, I uploaded uh, two videos of a uh, tutor of Clippingo. Uh, initially, I got the permission, so I uploaded. But later, I was I got a request from Clippingo that I have to take down those videos because the tutor is not comfortable with the video. Then I had to take down. So I deleted oh. those videos. Oh. So even though I have videos, some videos with tutors, but I cannot upload because I don't have the permission. But sir, nowadays there we are living social era, internet era. So there are lots of YouTubers. So we can connect with them and then we can, after conversation, we can upload this video, sir. Because the three months subscription of Clippingo. And then I realized that uh, the tutor is very good, but sir, uh, teacher can only guide us. If you are not putting our 100%, you are not doing hard work. So this is very difficult. And if you are thinking that after joining any coaching class and then something like that, we will be fluent. So this is wrong, sir. It depends on our hard work. Yeah, hard work is necessary. Uh, I don't deny that. But at the same time, uh, when we speak, because as you mentioned that you can uh, speak with other YouTubers. So like that, if I do not get anyone to speak with, then I have to, I have no other option, but I go for this tutor because unless and until we speak with somebody, we will never be able to improve. Because uh, as you said, as you rightly mentioned that you know grammar, but when it comes to speaking, you cannot speak the way you, you want to. So the only yeah. way out is to speak with people. And that's why yes. I started speaking with the tutors and I got the benefit. I would not say that I did not get the benefit out of it. I got the benefit, but at least I got the confidence that I can speak with anybody now. It's what yes, happened sir, yes, with sir. me. I also got lots of benefit. And because when I was started the English learning journey, so I was very uncomfortable. But sir, after taking some session, I feel very comfortable and they suggest me valuable advice like you work on your pronunciation, your vocabulary, your grammar is good, but uh, your confidence level is high. Your speed is very, this was this slow, some speed. So I got lots of things, sir, and I have learned a lot. Yes, yes, right. And apart from this, what is your hobby? Apart from this, sir, learning spoken English. Sir, when you talk about my hobby, so I used to play cricket. But nowadays, you know, sir, after joining this field, police field, I have very little time, so I usually play cricket in once and twice in a month. 
but nowadays you can say my hobby in all this thing learning this language because over the period we can change our hobbies so now my hobby is learning english you can say right now <laughs> so what did you like when you played cricket is bowling or batting yes sir i like sir bowling spin bowling spin bowling okay <laughs> leg spin i usually do leg spin sir and wicket keeping oh. i also do wicket keeping okay keeping and bowling okay but uh, at the same time it is very difficult to do if you are keeping then <laughs> if you want to bowl in a game then you have to take up your gloves and pads then again go <laughs> yes, anyway. yeah yes yes and mm. if i ask you about the indian cricketer who is your best art cricketer so nowadays i think you can say my best cricketer is yuvraj singh but over the period the cricketer is changed man you can know mayank singh dhoni virat kohli and nowadays you can the suru kumar yadav he is a master blaster right now <laughs> 360 degree <laughs> yes 360 degree <laughs> yes yes, yes, yes. and which is your favorite sir earlier it was saurabh ganguly and now it is virat kohli i love him very much i love yes, to yes. see his Uh, game. Yes, I also like Sir Saurav Ganguly. He is very aggressive captain, and he is very good player. He is a lefty player, and we can see when he he kicks the six, so he is very good. <laughs> Stylish one. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. I also. 